along Changi Road in the Frankel Estate sits a two-storey plus basement freehold bungalow with 10 bedrooms. I'm going to show you around the land first before I explain to you the rebuilt potential and, to, and the true value of this bungalow. So where I'm standing right now is the front porch and this is the only access from the Changi Road. So this is the void area that's below me. So what you can do is to extend this porch all the way there to cover up this entire void area where you can build even more rooms in this area, basement, um, home entertainment lounge, or even a secret wine cellar. So this is what I call a natural basement. So why is it called a natural basement? Because you don't have to dig any deeper into the ground. So um, because of the way the terrain is. So definitely going to save you more on the rebuild cost. I'm just wondering whether you can even put like a waterfall feature there that flows down from the level one to this basement. Quite interesting, you can discuss with your architect. And because we need a two meter side setback for this bungalow, so this means that you get natural light shining into the basement. If you have a glass facade instead of this wall, then you don't have to worry about you know certain section of the house getting too dark. So this is the garden area, which is um, very airy. There's yeah, this like very bright and airy vibe. So thanks to the large, um, the huge open area over there. Okay. So this allows the sea breeze from east coast to flow into your house and from the southern side. I would love to build a rectangular swimming pool over here complete with um, resort style wooden decking. Perfect. Now let's go up to um, level 1 which I will show you more great views of the back of the house. So we are now at level 1, that's actually the front entrance from the car porch. That's the main door where you come home from, when you drop off from your car. So this is the view from your level 1 living hall. Yeah. So if you see the small roads over there, those are um, Siglap Hill Road and LaSalle Street. And these are bungalows as well. You can, you can tell the distance between the houses is very close together. So it, is, it gives you a very claustrophobic feeling. Whereas ours is quite a distance away from the next building, which gives you so much ventilation and natural light into this part, especially this part of the living hall. So this is the room that we are going to get the same view as well, the most corner room of level one. And there are more rooms over there, which I'm not going to show you too much. Because I truly believe that 
All this will eventually be demolished when you are going to rebuild this place. So let's just skip the part and we go up to level 2, which I'll show you the rooftop view. I almost forgot that this is not actually a rooftop because you know we're at the basement and the basement is so unique because it's a natural basement that this is actually just level 2. So with this huge open terrace um, in the original two second floor um, layout and configuration. You have many rooms on the inside and then some on the outside. So if you were to convert this into an interior space, which means that your windows are actually here, you get a very good view of the landed um, opposite your, your, your unit, your house. And with quite a lot of privacy because it's quite a distance away. Very nice view. See, that's where they did the laundry, I think. Lin Qi Ren Xian Shen Da Sha Luo Chen. I don't know the last two words. But I want you to look at this natural stone garden bench. You know the Chinese, they usually use granite stone to make such a um, garden bench. They are definitely very old school. So most people would donate these kind of um, benches to schools or associations because I see they are in very good conditions. Four chairs with a bench. So at level two, you can already see the view of the high-rise condo over there. You have a Neptune Court, Mandarin Gardens and Laguna Park. Let's now finally get up to the rooftop. The true 360 degree view all around you. So, if you look at your next door neighbor, the bungalow which is pretty new, their roof is slightly higher, of a higher height than ours over here. So which means that if you were to rebuild this whole on, on this whole land. Your roof could be as high as theirs, but your, your roof height will give you a better vantage point towards the south direction. Definitely a little bit higher and much better view from, from that side. I can imagine swimming down there in my swimming pool. It's such a good lap pool that you can put it there. And you know, there's so many possibilities for the rooftop. You can either finish up with a like barbecue, you know, moonlight jacuzzi, or you can build a proper rooftop attic. What I really love about this location is that it is actually considered a very central part of the eastern sector of Singapore. So we are very close to the East Coast Beach, that direction, and we are not too far away from cafes and restaurants. So um, a walk, a short walk away from here is actually St. Stephen's School. And if you turn right along, you go down Changi Road and you turn right into Sigak Road, it's actually um, Opera Estate Primary School just around the corner and not forgetting, Kambangan MRT is actually about 600 meters away. Short, very short walk. So this entire area is actually um, a bungalow zoning, which means that nobody, nobody can buy a piece of land anywhere here and rebuild them into um, two semi-detached house. Yeah? That means they can't really, like, they can't even like cut the land into two pieces to build a semi -de because that will affect the overall outlook of this entire bungalow cluster. Yeah. So let's say, if you were to rebuild 
um, on this land because now we are we are at 10 bedrooms. If you are going to rebuild to maybe an in built area between 7,000 square feet to 8,000 square feet, you can easily fit in eight big and comfortable rooms, much bigger than this. Then you, um, the cost is between somewhat 2.1 million to 2.4 million. So if you factor that in um, to the asking price here, which is 7.5 million, 7.5 plus about 2.5, that will give you a total figure of about um, 10 million dollars. So if you look at this entire area, there is a short supply of freehold landed houses of such size and price. And if you really search around this entire area, um, you can't find any um, of such size that is priced below 10 mil. If you go down to filter more, um, District 15, you see a few listings. So there's like, um, for example, this Mayer Road Cluster Landed. The minimum asking price is 6.25 million. And you see a few repeated listings there. Yeah. But we are at 7.5 million for this. It's going to be brand new, freehold landed house um, to your choice, your design, your configurations, your liking at just 7.5 million with at least 10,000 square feet of build-up area, Minimum, minimally, yeah. So, definitely a much, much better buy because this entire land belongs to you. What I really love about this plot of land is that it has a very wide frontage and very good depth back to front and most importantly it is very regular shaped so very easy to redesign and build a house for multi-generation living very pleasing to the eye this kind of land and you will have a very clear line of sight of Siglap Hill towards the east coast so I hope you like this video and leave us a comment Click like or subscribe if you like our own home tour videos and we'll have uh, more home tour videos coming up in the next few weeks.